Good morning, Las Brisa stars, and welcome back from Thanksgiving break. Hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving break and were able to spend some good time with family and friends. Got to eat your favorite Thanksgiving food. I love the Thanksgiving turkey gravy. Oh, that's the best. My mom makes the best. All right. So anyways, moving on. Today is the first day of Hanukkah for all of our Jewish stars here on campus. Happy first day of Hanukkah to you and your family. And it is also our first day back from break. We only have three more weeks, so I hope you're all ready to finish strong for this last three weeks of the quarter, because this is also the last three weeks of quarter two. This Friday, Student Council is doing our Spirit Day. It is the first Friday of the month, so they have chosen to do holiday spirit wear. So whatever holiday you celebrate, whether it's Christmas or, or Hanukkah, or maybe you want to go back to Halloween, whatever you want. It's holiday spirit wear. So wear your holiday spirit wear or wear Las Brisas t-shirt. And you could also, they're also doing a community project in raising money to help families in need. So you can wear a hat on Friday and donate a dollar to um, PTSA to help buy some gift cards for, for families that are in need this time of year. So pay a dollar and you can wear your hat all day long, whatever hat you choose. So that is this Friday, Holiday Spirit Wear, Hat Day. All right, let's move on to our motto. The cure for boredom is curiosity is what our motto is this week. Are you bored often? Being bored isn't fun, but luckily there is a cure. It's called curiosity. Lose those boredom blues and get curious. Curious people learn more and enjoy life more simply because they are open-minded and curious. Being curious makes life more fun. So be curious by asking yourself, what will I learn today? Have a great day, stars. We can do it. Tell me what this song comes from. What Disney movie? When you see me today, let me know what it is. One of my favorites. Have a good day, stars.